Apple Music's web interface is now available for use. Want to learn more about it? I'm Jessica from techboomers.com, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Apple Music web player. Now let's get started. To begin, go to music.apple.com in your browser of choice. In the top right corner, click Sign In. In the pop-up window, sign in to your Apple ID account that you use with Apple Music. Once you're signed in, click Continue. You'll then be taken to the Apple Music web player interface. The first page you'll see is the Browse tab. Here you'll find new and featured albums and playlists. Scroll down to check out more. If you see a playlist you want to listen to, click on it to open the playlist page. You can then check out what songs are on the playlist and read the playlist description. To start listening to it, click Play. Once you've started listening to music on the Apple Music web player, you can use the playback controls at the top of your screen to pause, play, restart the current song, or skip to the next song. You can also toggle the shuffle and repeat settings here. To skip to a specific part of a song, drag the playback marker in the middle. If you click the three dots beside the song name, you'll get options to add it to your library, play it next, play later, love, or suggest less like this if you don't like that song. You'll also find the volume control at the top to the right of the playback window. If you click the three lines on the right, a sidebar will open showing what songs are coming up next. If you click the three dots to the right of a song name in this bar, you'll see a pop-up menu with more options. At the top of the left panel, you'll find the search box. Here you can search for an artist, song, album, playlist, or radio station you want to listen to. Any relevant and related tracks will appear in the search results. The rest of the left menu bar features other tabs you can check out. The For You tab features content Apple Music thinks you'll like based on your previous listening activity. The Radio tab features Apple Music exclusive radio stations, Beats One Radio, along with regional broadcast radio stations available for online streaming. If you scroll down, you'll find artist shows, Beats One interviews, and more. The rest of the left panel allows you to access your Apple Music library, including recently added, artists, albums, and songs you've added to your library. While streaming, you don't have to keep your browser open on your screen. You can minimize it if you like, and your music will continue to play, allowing you to keep doing other things on your computer while enjoying your favorite songs. That does it for this tutorial on the new Apple Music web player. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. We put out great new tech tutorials like this one twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday.